Hello there. <laughs> a lady like me with a microphone is never a good thing, so. So, I migrated to uh, good old Bayview, Wisconsin um, in 2001. My mom got remarried, and so I'm actually an immigrant from Seattle, Washington. So I have to set the context for you. When I moved to uh, Milwaukee, I was 14 years old. It was my freshman year of high school, and my mom decided to ruin my life by making me move, what, 23, 2700 miles across the country. So the reason why we moved is um, she got remarried and her love lived here. So my mom literally said, are we gonna stay in Seattle where it rains and pours? Or are we gonna move to the land of cheese? And I actually had no bearing on her decision, so here I come um, with my time in Seattle. So I recall growing up around um, populations that were that of Asian and Caucasian. So growing up, I was the minority, but it was cool. Like when I say my classmates would ask me if I could braid their hair like mine or if I could show them how to dance, it was awesome. Some of the stereotypes that exist among African Americans were things that were regarded about me as a person when I lived in Seattle. So um, being in those type of environments, while I was the minority, I was very much celebrated. Um, back home, buses came every one hour um, in terms of foods that we ate um, that were cool and happening, things like pancit or um, lumpia were things that we enjoyed. So I was used to this community and these people that I was around and the fact that they were Asian and the fact that they were Caucasian didn't really matter because that's who I knew. Switch to moving to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where my first day on touchdown, I recall moving out of the rural um, layout of Seattle. And let me give you a little backstory. I say I'm from Seattle, but I'm actually from a small town called Bremerton, Washington. Some people don't know it. So since they don't know it, I just say Seattle because it makes it a little easier for the conversation. Um, but it's true what they say about Seattle when it comes to the rain. I traded the rain for the snow. So, <laughs> touching down here, it was the first time I had ever been in a home that was so close to the street. I remember saying to my mom, they're going to rob us. Like, our house is so close to the street, they could see our door. Didn't know who they were, but still, once again, it was a different experience. Also, the buses. I remember staying up late and like hearing them whir past like every 15 minutes. And I remember giving my junior high school my forwarding address and my final report card for ninth grade actually got lost because connect, 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 connect wasn't, I guess, a word or a street that folks could comprehend. So um, with those big changes, I went and registered for classes at Bayview High School for my sophomore year. I'd never experienced a school situation where like it's, you know, big, it's, it's huge. And I remember walking in, registering for orchestra, um, picking up classes, and first day of school starts. When I get to my first day of school at uh, Bayview High School, it's biology class, and I remember that the faces that were in my class no longer really represented the Asian and Caucasian populations I saw. I saw myself. I saw people who looked like me, that shared the same color of my skin, and it was different. It was awkward. As I mentioned in the beginning of my story, I was always regarded um, for, you know, being the black woman in the black sp in the not black space. However, when I joined Bayview High School, um, I noticed that not only did my classmates not necessarily look like me, um, the then minority in the room was actually the Caucasian people. So I found myself a lot of empathy because I recalled being in that space, but unlike myself as an African American who was cool. The white kids were not treated cool. Um, the white kids were not talked to like they were cool. And for me, that was a hard thing to digest. But what was harder to digest is coming out of Bayview High School. I literally lived in walking distance. You know where Hi-Fi Cafe is? That is where I lived. Another thing to mention is uh, the former king of Bayview, I'm actually the girl he moved to Bayview for. Yeah. <laughs> And like Beyonce says, he put a ring on it because he liked it. Um, but growing up in Bayview, I literally lived in block radius of everywhere. I went from Knick Knick Avenue to my first efficiency on Ogden Ave uh, East Atchin Avenue, excuse me, to Howell Avenue, one side of the street, other side of the street, upside the street. So I've been a little bit of everywhere in Bayview. For 15 years, I literally stayed in a small circumference. But when I was in high school, one thing I noticed is that my classmates 
would be with me all day in school. And then when it came time for the end of the day, they regarded me so great because I could walk foot to my home. However, they had to get on a bus and go as far as Vincent High School. Um, I never went to Vincent High School until probably about seven years ago, and I've been in Wisconsin for about 16 years now. So um, with that experience, I will say this. The reason why I ended up moving away from Bayview High School is because, I'll be honest, um, my time while I found myself an immigrant um, and a person, a part of Kinnick Kinnick in, in Bayview, um, I had many instances where if I was with my classmates after school at Rosemary's Video getting candy, I was looked at, looked at like a student who was a Bayview student. However, if it was Sunday and I was over at the McDonald's on Potter by myself, I was told to have a nice day. So for me, with having children, with marrying the former candy man at Goldman's department store, which is where I met him, by the way, so we really do have a love story, because we met there. Um, I can say, honestly, that with leaving Bayview, I needed for my child and for my family to have an experience where it, what, where being the few or being the minority in um, Bayview wasn't gonna really cut it for us anymore. So while I have great memories of my time at Bayview, I still come back here to party, let's just be for real. Um, I love a little Lulu, Chips and Blue. Um, I'm a big fan of Highberry on Friday, that's their hip hop night. Um, what else do I like about The View? All those festivals and fairs, but um, as mentioned, the reason why I had to go really does speak to kind of what Bayview sometimes misses, and that's the idea that I wasn't a visitor, I was a, a, a resident for 15 years, and still, in certain ways, because of the color of my skin, often got treated like one, so thank you.